Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, we are going to be doing a career mode here in Stormworks. Now, we're going to be starting um, with just cargo, and we're at Terminal Komodo here, so I'm just going to go ahead and customize my character um, to uh, this dude. Um, so yeah, we are here in Terminal Komodo. Um, we are playing Stormworks. Also, uh, uh, another fun thing to mention, I am also um, working on a helicopter based on the LAFD thing. It's also going to be kind of like a SAR. So it's going to be like a fire helicopter and a SAR helicopter. But anyways, here we are. Um, what's this? Oh, it's a one by Okay. Yeah, anyways, uh, so we're gonna be building a train here, let's just get started, I guess. Um, now, first off, we're just gonna start, uh, doing this. Now, I'm not too sure how I want this thing to look. Uh, so it is going to be actually a cargo train liner, so, yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is essentially... Have it just go straight back at a curved angle and then have like a window on a pivot or something and then kind of just have controls everywhere around so I'm thinking that's what we are going to be doing it's also going to be a uh, kind of like a hybrid train with electric and diesel so it's gonna be uh, electric power maybe and then have generators. I'm not sure, though. So, yeah. A large angled window. Uh, I could just put one big one there. And, yeah, that's actually fine. Yeah. Cool. Uh, now that we have that done, this thing is gonna be tiny. Um, and weird. Actually, I think I'm going to make it a little taller, so I'm going to replace these with 1x2s. And then I'm going to put a 1x4. I'm going to put a row of 1x4s down here. Actually, now thinking about this, this seems awfully, like, skinny. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put some pyramids along this. And then just make this go back just like that. And now that's kind of our overall front of this weird train. Uh, yeah, wedge one by two there. Boop. Uh, put this down here. And then I'm going to smooth in the outside in just a second. Yeah. Um, but anyways. I want this thing to have just a ton of mainly screens and have it be fairly advanced for what it is. So, I'm thinking, sorry I just hit my microphone with my hand, I'm thinking uh, I could put a pivot right here and then rotate all of this upwards and then have a like screens and stuff over here and have these be like touch screens and whatever um so yeah i think that would be okay um also i need to put in the little wheel train assemblies thingies majiggies uh, so if I get my wheel train thing, and, oh, this is weird, okay, hold on, hold on, uh, just delete all of this for now, I'll fix that later, um, I don't know if that's weird or not. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at all. Uh, 
I think that's fine though. Wedge. There. Bang. Ooh. Nope. And then I'm going to put another one here. And that is a okay. Now I can spin it around. Spin, 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 spin. Also, I apologize. I don't know why it's so laggy. It just kind of is. I was trying to turn off the rain. Why is it always raining in Stormworks when you turn it on? Okay, that's just really weird. But yeah. Um. Anyways, move this backwards, like to here maybe, and then get a wedge, and then have it go along. I forgot how big that is supposed to be, but that is a okay. And I don't know why I'm singing right now. Um. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> uh, just grab this. And then rotate that to there. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all the way until... There, I'm pretty sure, just one before that. Yep, right there, cool. And now this is going to be my fuel tank here. So if I get another wedge, one by two, I can then put this here and have this relatively low to the ground. Two, for more fuel, obviously. And then put that in there. And then put that in there, and then put this weird thing in here, and then this like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. Okay, now we're actually thinking about it. Um, I think I'm going to make this full that way somehow but at the same time I don't really know uh so kind of like having like a snow get out of the way or a snow get out of the way or that's not what they're called at all um but I don't know what they're called so, yeah, uh, so kind of having it start back here. The snow, get out of the way. -er. Anyways, so this is our, this is gonna be the snow scooper that I put in upside down. Yeah, that's, or the, wait, hold on. Okay, there's the same level. For some reason, this one looks higher than the other one. I don't know why. That's weird. But, yeah, it is true. Anyways, I'm going to put this in the correct way. Which is kind of like this. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, now I'm actually thinking about it. I kind of wish I'd made something like this. How big are engines? Hold on. Engine. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh. These are bigger than I thought. I thought they're... Can I fit... No, I can't fit them. Supposedly, I guess I could... You know what? Actually, I could, theoretically. So, let's see. If I turn on symmetry here for a second, I get a... Inverse... Two by what? Two by two. Why not? Stick this... Right here. No. Yes. Oh, wait. And then I can take one of these. Yes. And then stick that here. And then take one by these thingies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those thingies. And then come all the way back there. And then have this a one by two inverse 
inverse 1 by 2 and have this come back here and do the wedge thingy or it goes back kind of like that and then just fill this in with blocks and boom that does indeed work but it looks super weird so I'm gonna do it on the other side yeah uh, yeah that's great that's great um, that's great. Um, yeah, I know. that, merge that. Now I should be able just to turn back on symmetry and move this back here and just have the train kind of have a little lump on it. That's, yeah, fine. Um, let's get a wedge in here, one by two, yep, one by two, right there, there, and boom, a really weird looking train, yeah, uh, now, where am I gonna put the other one? Since I cannot fit it at that weird level that it's sitting at. Sorry, I kicked my microphone with my hand again if you heard that. Uh, yeah. Hmm. For now, um, I'm actually going to delete this train wheel assembly. And then. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm gonna then. Please just move this, or sorry, copy this, move this back, there, oh, oh, do you know what, actually, this isn't that bad, it's just kind of bigger than I would like it to be, but it's perfectly fine, just like that, I think. Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> At least. Um. And then just cover this up. Which I think. That's the fuel tank. But, once again, I have no clue whatsoever. What that is. That could be something completely different. <laughs> uh. And then. Yeah, engine room. Cool engine room thingy do 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 uh, yeah, yeah let's just keep that okay what the heck is this there we go and this is fine yeah cool uh put this here oh turn symmetry actually Put this here. Uh, let's see. I don't know what to do with that at all. Um, okay, so if I do this, right? I think that will work. Yeah, it does. Cool. Great. Uh, now I just need a regular pyramid here. And now uh, just shove this right in there. Grab a wedge. Put that right there. And boom, that works. Weirdly. Um, I'm still really not sure about this window. We have this little thing, I think it's called skirt. Actually, I'm going to make this slightly less aggressive and not at a 45 degree angle. And boom, we have like a little skirt thing. And now I think I can put a 1 by 2 
And you know what? It doesn't actually look half bad, surprisingly. Uh, and then I can just do the piping. And then I think after I finish the engines, that's going to be it for this video. After I finish the engines. So, uh, I'm pretty sure you already know how to do piping and stuff. So, I'm not really going to keep that in. And then next video, hopefully, we can do some uh, Lua scripting here for the displays. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to stop recording for a split second for the piping, and I'll see you once I finish all the piping. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and done all of the piping here, as you can see. Um, also kind of made this a little nicer looking in here. Added in a door, uh, and these heat sinks for decorations that don't actually do anything at all. Instead, they use these radiators because... Reasons, yeah. Um, also, there are some generators, and I think I'm going to go with the electric powered things, and then having generators power those or power the batteries. Then, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go and end that video there.